Okay, this is fifth grade lesson 34, and this is on division with zeros in the quotient. Do you remember what the quotient is? No. It's the answer to a division problem. Okay, so for example, if I had 24 divided by 6, we would know 4 is the quotient, is the answer. Okay, so we're working with zeros that are going to be in this answer. Okay, which kind of makes it harder. A lot, even my seventh and eighth graders miss this a lot. So really focus today. Okay, so ready? We're gonna work with this. Okay. Do you remember what to do here? What's the very first thing? Dad, mom, sister, brother, which really means divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Remember that? Okay, yeah. so first thing you need to look at is go, will six go into three? Um, and it's less than no. that, so no. So you can either put a zero, you can put an X, or you can just put a space and not use it. Sometimes I like to use the X just to help me, and I'll erase it later, okay? So because we can't use the three, we're going to have to do the 36, okay? Mm -hmm. And because we're working with 36, the answer to that number is going to go right here. Remember that? So how many times will six go into 36? Six times what? Well, 6 times 5 is 30. Uh, 6 times 6. Very good. Okay. So, I divided. 6 will go into 36. 6 times. Now, I'm going to multiply. 6 times 6 is? 36. 36. Good job. I'm going to subtract 0. And I'm going to bring down. Okay. Now, we're going to move to our next step. Okay, and so we look at this number down here. Okay, will six go into five? No, I don't. No, this time we're going to have to put a zero. Okay, you can't put an X. Okay, you have to put zeros because it's already started a number. So we have to finish off the number. Okay, so now we divide it. Now we're going to multiply. What is zero times six? Zero. Zero. Now we're going to subtract. And we're going to bring down. Is there anything else to bring down? No. No. So what do I do with that five? The remainder. Very good. Okay. Now, I want you to notice something. Do you see how my number ended after this? Yes. Sometimes some students would put a six right there and say six remainder five. But there has to be something right here. You have to have something that fills in all of these, whether it's an X or a number, okay? So you always have to finish, okay? So the answer is actually 60 remainder five. Let's try another one. Okay, six goes into six, 635. Dad, mom, sister, brother, okay? Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Okay, let's divide first. Will six go into six? I think, yeah, six times one. Six times one to six. So I'm gonna put in one, six times one. Okay, so I'm gonna divide it. Now, one times six is six. six. I multiply. Now I'm gonna subtract. Six take away six is zero. And I'm gonna bring down. See that? Mm -hmm. Now, will six go into three? No. No, but, it, but what can I use? Zero. Zero. Okay, because I'm working with this, I have to put the zero in that spot. Okay, so I divided. Now let's multiply. Zero times six is zero. Okay, I'm going to subtract and bring down. Six will go into 35. We uh, knew that six times six, six times five. Six please. times five. Okay, so I'm going to put a five here. See how this was here? And so we're working with that number. And we put the five here because we are working with that number. Mm -hmm. So I did that. I put that five there. Okay. So six times five. Now I'm going to multiply. What is six times five? It's 30. 30. Now I'm going to subtract. I'm going to get five left over. I don't know if you can see that. And is there anything else to bring down? No. That means you're done. But I have a five right here. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? You put a remainder. Remainder five. So my answer is 105 remainder five. See how that works? Uh -huh. Okay. You may want to use zeros in the beginning if you have to, and then just erase it. Okay? Because mm -hmm. zeros in the beginning don't have no meaning. Okay? 
Um, you want to try one more? Uh, sure. Let's do one more. I'm going to let you do this one by yourself. And it's actually one of your lesson practices, so we'll take it off of that. Okay? okay? So let's do this one. Okay, I'm going to let you work that one and see what you get. And then we'll take it step by step and see how you did. close as you can without going over. What goes into 49? 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 6 times 5 is 30. You're going down. You want to go up more because your the answer is 49. What is six times eight? Good job. Four take away four. This is your problem. One you always one. no. Yes, but it doesn't belong there. Yeah. your new number you're working with. No, but you need to get as close to this number. Yes, but you're, this is your new number. Six times what equals it to? Was that one of them? Mm -hmm. No multiply. You just divide it. No multiply. Three times six is what? Six goes into one. No. Six times six is thirty six. Six goes into one six times. No. Six times what equals one? Without going up. <laughs> Okay, no, but, but you gotta finish it off. So now multiply what is six and zero? Put the answer down here. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. One take away nothing. Very good. All right, he got it exactly right. So I want you to watch how I do this. See if you got it right at home. All right, six times those into four. We don't know six times something to equal four. We can't do that. So you can either put a zero or an X, okay? So I'm gonna use my X strategy because we don't need that. So now I'm gonna move to 49. Six times what equals 49? I forgot to put the bad mom, sister, brother. Okay, so six times eight, Eli said a while ago. So we divide it, now let's multiply. Eight times six is 48. Now let's subtract, I get one. And now we're going to bring down, and I bring down my 8. Okay, this is my new number I'm looking at. 6 goes into 18 how many times? 0. 3. 3. You told me all ago. 3. Okay, so I divide it. Now let's multiply. 3 times 6 is 18. Now we're going to subtract and get 0. And then we're going to bring down, which we've got a 1 to bring down. Okay, and remember we're not done. You see this 1 right here, Eli? So we're not done until that space is filled up. 
to remember that. So you wouldn't want to put remainder one because this entire thing has to be completed. Something has to be over every number. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So six will go into one. How many times? Uh, one. No. I mean zero. Very good. Zero. Okay. So I divide. Now I'm going to multiply. Zero times six is zero. Now I'm going to subtract and I get one. I'm going to bring down. There's nothing else to bring down. That means I'm done. So I've got a one remaining. So you should have gotten 830 remainder of one. All right. Now let me just quickly review you really quickly on decimal numbers. Do you remember decimal numbers in division problems? Mm -hmm. What do I do with that decimal number in my answer? Do you remember? Do you bring it up? I just slide it up. Okay. That's all I wanted to show you. We're not actually going to perform the problem. Okay. And that is lesson 34.